Ready? Ready? And this is gonna be a very exciting trip. Okay. Welcome to Vietnam, how exciting. Look at all those houses, that's so cool. So cool. Look at that. It is stunning here. So we can just go, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! You're blinking, you're 30. You're going through a midlife crisis wearing a white, white cap. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good? Oh, good Thank doing you good. very much. Yes. Yes. This is the new stuff that just got live, isn't it? This is really cool to see, isn't it? Yeah, this is amazing. Nice. I feel so lucky to be able to see this firsthand. It's genuinely outstanding. Oh, wow, well, look. How battered this bus is. So, I think chaotic is probably the best word. This is massive, isn't it? Yeah. Into the recycling plant we go. Why are you not doing this? I feel happy. Oh, and now this is proper, this is, isn't it? Oh my God. I'm excited for this though. I'm really looking forward to this bit. Tomorrow, I am flying to Bangladesh and we've got an absolutely carnage week. So we're flying from London to Dubai, Dubai to Hanoi in Vietnam. We're there for about a day and a half, two days. Then we then fly from Hanoi to Singapore, Singapore to Dhaka, and then working in Dhaka for a couple of days. And then Dhaka to Dubai, Dubai back to Birmingham. And I'm gonna be back on Friday. So it's gonna be a very, very busy week. So what do I take on a work trip? Well, it's tends to vary because of the weather and where we're going, but I will always take my vital core zip top here. Shout out to Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospital Charity, which I'm a patron of, and they're doing some great things at the moment. So I've also packed some extra t-shirts as well, because I think it's gonna be fairly warm. And this is my favorite t-shirt that we do, and it is our power t-shirt. In terms of my bottoms, I've got retake bottoms, which I absolutely love in, and I've got a couple of pairs of shorts as well, just in case. I haven't actually tried these yet, but just in case it is warm, I don't think we'll be spending too much time outside, if I'm honest, just because we'll be, you know, in factories and the meetings and things like that. But still, it's usually like 30 degrees every single day. Oh, and then finally as well, so I always wear these under whatever I'm wearing, which I enjoy, is the new uh, Gymshark Red Tank. I am wearing a small, just because I prefer them to be super fitted, because I wear them under my clothes. So to be honest, I don't really spend too much time packing. Like, I can literally pack now in 10 minutes, pretty much, because we've traveled so much over the years. And generally as well, we don't travel for long, so I will avoid having check-in luggage at all costs. Um, I bought this actually years, I probably had this about 10 years. I know it's been a long time because I bought this when One Direction were in the X Factor. Don't ask me why I know that. East Pack carry-on suitcase and it's lasted me forever so I can pack really quick. We usually leave quite early in the morning but tomorrow we leave late. I'm not being picked up till half eight so I can wake up, have a leisurely morning. See Robin and the boys have some breakfast and, and then head off. So that's a quarter zip for every day of the week. Straight in there like that. So my car is gonna be here to collect me very shortly. So I'm just finishing up my packing. And then I also carry this backpack with all my work stuff in and the stuff that I need for the plane. I always pack my laptop, which is where I do most of my work from. My iPad as well, which I absolutely love. I'm sort of tempted to actually move from a laptop to an iPad and work on this all the time. There's a few people at work that do this. It's cool, these iPads are really, really good. I really like them. I've got my Land Rover magazine, where I'm going to read on the plane. It's a Land Rover Series 1 sort of club, which sounds really geeky, I know, but a warm welcome to new members. And as you can see, Ben Francis right there. So yeah, I'm really having a read of that on the plane. A travel adapter for going to loads of different countries. I mean, we're, we're actually staying in Vietnam, uh, Hanoi, uh, and Dhaka in Bangladesh. So this will get us through that. I've got my headphones, which I, pre which I pretty much only use on flights. I've got my extension cord, so what I can do is I can plug this into the wall and then plug this into that, and then I can just use all of my stuff without having to take loads of different uh, converters. So I'm gonna stick that in there. I've got this, which is a lifesaver, especially when you're on the go. I got it off Amazon and it charges basically anything and it lasts forever. It's brilliant. I've got this as a backup backup battery, which I'll put in the front. Oh, and I've got my jumper on top of it. I think that's everything. Having, I guess, gone to the US pretty much every month for the last year or so, as much as I've absolutely loved it, going to somewhere new and somewhere that I haven't been before, it's very, very exciting. Hello. Ready? Yeah. And you've yeah. only bought a backpack? Two backpacks. Two. <laughs> and this is going to be a very exciting trip. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Fancy either a lounge or a waggers pad thai. <laughs> chicken pad thai, no prawn, extra chicken. This is going to be a big trip. This is going to be an exciting trip. I'm well excited. Hello. Right, should we go and check in? Okay, so here's the one. Here's uh, Mr. Perrett. And no. 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And we're on one of the big, big planes. What do they call it? A380. One with two, two stories. And apparently, Laurent said that there's a bar on board. Now, not that I'm going to drink, but it'd be cool to see the bar. So here we go. Feel awfully fancy today. Oh, it's just nice, isn't it? We've got a three hour layover and it's just nice to enjoy every minute. Five. 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 <laughs> Who's not eating? <laughs> happy day? As happy as you can be. Good. Good flight. Yeah, it was alright. We're alive. <laughs> We're healthy. That is We're the bare minimum happy. you want from a flight. <laughs> Look at that, it's midnight in Dubai. We're in an airport. So. We're just going to chill in the lounge for about 20 minutes and then we're going to wander over to our gate. Our gate's about 20 minutes from here. The dream scenario is to sleep on this next flight, land, have a really nice afternoon, sort of relaxed afternoon, looking around Hanoi, uh, and then we wake up the next morning and drive out to the factory. We're working in the factory all day. So, yeah, looking forward to it. It's like I've done a lot of travelling and I've, I've never really been able to master the art of sleeping on a plane, which I'm not particularly happy about, but I'm just buzzing to be back close to the product again. It feels just like it's been far too long and even though we've got so much facilities at GSHQ being there in the factory with the suppliers it's just it's really cool and it's really special so cannot wait to be out there. Never turn, Never turn in. him so I will sleep on this flight one way or another. Welcome to Vietnam, how exciting. Mm. Four hours on the go and now we're here. Oh, we are exiting that way. I flagged on the house. That, look at all those houses, that's so cool. I just I haven't been to somewhere new in so long. So cool. Well, I've just got into my room. The room is stunning, look at this. So, Laurent, our chief of supply chain, suggested this hotel, this is where he stays, so. This afternoon is basically our only day of, I guess, or afternoon of being able to relax because the, the trip is gonna be carnage, it's gonna be incredibly busy. It is currently coming up to 3 p.m. I'm gonna be conking out at about 8 p.m. So, we've got a few hours now to just get some nice food, chill, see a little bit of the city. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Like I've said, being able to see new places is just amazing. It's something I haven't been able to do in a long time. So this is the view from the hotel. Look at that. It is stunning here. It's amazing. Really happy with the hotel. Just gonna freshen up and then we're gonna go and head for a little wander around. T-shirt on, sat in the lounge, got a little diet and coke and then we're about to go for a little walk. I'm so excited for this walk. So we can just go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you sure? Oh, I thought you said just go. <laughs> oh, I was, I, I was ready to go for it as well. <laughs> Busy, isn't it? It's cool. Here we go, green man. Wow. Here. I know, I know, it's gonna look great. <laughs> I'm just traveling mate in Southeast Asia oh, you for a couple months, so. Oh, nice. Well, it's good to meet you. James, can you take a photo of us? Enjoy your day. See you soon. So, we've just had a nice walk around Hanoi. Uh, we're wandering back to the hotel now. You have to have your wits about you walking around here. Wandering back to the hotel now. I'm just gonna have some food and get an early night because I think everyone's tired. It's been a lot of travel in the last 24 hours. Just to orient ourselves, we left the house on, uh, I think it was 8 or 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. It is now Monday at 5.30, but obviously we've gone forward in time, flying east. Yeah, and it'll be a really, really big day tomorrow. So it's the first day in the factory tomorrow. So we're going to be leaving first thing. You're going to wake up, get breakfast, get out. We're going to be uh, out at factories all day. I think we're seeing two or three different factories tomorrow. And that'll be our only full day here in Vietnam because then the following morning on Wednesday we wake up and we fly to Singapore and then to Dhaka. So am I tired? Yes. Do I look tired? Yes. Am I hungry? Yes. Am I ready for bed? Yes. Am I excited? Yes. Am I asking myself stupid questions? I'm tired? Yes. 
So it is day one, we just had breakfast, I'm just in the room and we are now going to be jumping in our car and going to our first factory. The journey could take between one and a half and two hours. The factory is sort of halfway between um, where we are now, which is Hanoi and Hai, Hai Fong, Hai Pong. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. So yeah, we've got about an hour and a half, two hours in the car and we're going to two factories in a mill today. So it's gonna be a good day. I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, let's get going. Morning. That's what it felt like yesterday walking around. It's just like you can just people watch it and there's always something going on. This is our bus. This is it. Well, they do some big patches on the So we're so like yeah. real. Welcome to this one. Thank you very much. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good? Oh, good. Thank doing you very good. much. Yes. We are here. That's so yeah. cool. All this is yours? Yep. Yes. This but is now not. I really like this. For this area, it's just land now. Yeah. And then plan to build it like at the end of this year. Is that football? Yes. Yeah, super cool. Ah. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yes. Great. So excited. So the factory we designed by Lean Concept, so one, uh, one way in here. So then this is trims coming in yes. here? Yeah. Oh look, gym shark trims. Yeah. Perry, gym shark trims. How cool, this is great. The principle in factory, yeah. all the trim they check. Yeah. So this is what you want, this is, this is proper. <laughs> So this is in it. these are all embroidery, embroidery machines down here. So, so you can see that it's running now. So this is where you'd have logos embroidered and things like that. This is cool. The fact that in the factory they're growing fruits and things like that, literally in between the different uh, buildings. This is literally the perfect weather, isn't it? So we see on the factory is around by the glass. Yeah. So here we go. This is this is the new stuff that just got live, isn't it? The what they call it the cross legging. This is really cool to see, isn't it? This is amazing. We're now walking down the line, so all of this is Gymshark's production. So this is the leggings that are being made here. What you'll see on here is all of the raw, raw materials come in on this tray. It will then move over here and the panels will then get marked and then they'll all get stitched together as we move down the line. Oh, come for the exercise. Yeah? Come for the exercise. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What is that? Come on. What do we do? <laughs> what is that? So what, how often does this happen? Yeah. Yeah. Twice a day? <laughs> this is quite nice. Why are you not doing this? You need this. I feel good. I feel happy. So we're now walking back through the garden through the other side and we're going to the canteen where everyone who works here goes and has their lunch. Look at how cool that is, that run down there. I, I just feel like when people think of a, a clothing factory. I think, feel like the views are fairly outdated and people would imagine something that is far from what it actually is. And I think it's nice for people to be able to walk around with us and see this place because it is stunning and it's state of the art and it's beautiful. And yeah, we make great products here. So. so yeah, it's really important to me that we work with the best factories and factories that are really thoughtful in their design and make sure that we also can produce, you know, the, the best product and do best by those who are helping produce our product as well around the world. And then hopefully by seeing places like this, it, will give, it gives, I guess, you guys, the customers confidence that we're producing the best product in the best way and we are doing right by our people around the world. So look at this. So here, they're growing food, which is then used in the canteen to feed everyone that works here. This is amazing, this is, isn't it? Go on, Perrot, look at this. Look at the butterflies. Look at them all. This is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Like, the fact that it's such a beautiful place where we're producing our products and you walk, what, 30 yards over here and you stood in a garden full of butterflies where we're growing the food for everyone that works here. Zip is a, like a salad. 
Yeah. Like a kale. Okay. But uh, like a softer and more crunchy. Mm. So um, uh, here in the Taiping area, we, we grow and we export to Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Japan? Yeah. What, what's the name of this? Uh, that's like a kale. But, uh, okay. like a fresh air. Yeah, so nice, the fresh air. Yeah. So is this the whole farm? Uh, 30,000 square meter for the so here we got it here and then over there. Yeah, yeah. we pass by the our clinic so you can got a health check here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, after one round, what? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, wow, blood pressure. Yeah, we see normally zipper with the tape, but this one is a, we call the tip, tipless zipper. Mm -hmm. So the, the tip of the tape of the zipper integration directly to the fabric. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Looking at stuff like this, we could have some of the coolest products that you can ever imagine coming out over the next couple of years. I feel so lucky to be able to see this firsthand. It's genuinely outstanding. From We're just looking at lots CBB's of different samples of fabrics, stuff. of yeah. embroidery examples, print samples, and just basically just having a look at loads of different ideas that we could potentially put into into Gymshop product down the line. But that's what we're also taking time as well as looking around the factory and meeting the guys also to try and think about what the future of Gymshop product could look like as well. We came in here, we walked up here, we walked through all of these. This is where the, um, the vegetable garden was. As you can see, like the amount of greenery in this facility is amazing. It's such a lovely place to be. Yeah. Very, very impressive. So now we're going to head from Paul. We've got another about an hour, an hour and a half in the car. And we're going to go to the next factory as well. So, yeah, busy day, but loving it so far. Thank you, really appreciate yeah, that. Hope you need to, to see come, come to the UK. Yeah, we'll get sure. all these, get all yeah. these sampled in the next few weeks. Yeah. To come and visit. So, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Appreciate the time. It was really yeah. good. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be a services on the way where we can get said Pepsi. Yeah, if we see a petrol station, we stop off and get some snacks, some other snacks. Not a snack. <laughs> I don't know, it's, just some, I, it's, not, it's not the quantity of the snacks that's concerning me, Lil. <laughs> oh, I just want to pop into the shops and get some salt and vinegar crisps. They must have salt and vinegar crisps in here. Well, that was, that was actually really useful. I wish they had more materials and stuff there. This is a mill. Will we see loads of materials in this mill? Yeah. This is a, a, a knit mill, so we'll see more knitted factories. Okay. Yeah. So we stopped quite literally in the middle of nowhere because I was desperate for some sort of food and some snacks and we stopped here at Daily Van. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't think they take American Express, which could be an issue, but we'll see what we do. <laughs> well, they've got seaweed flavour crisps. Seaweed? <laughs> seaweed? No? Seaweed, seaweed flavour crisps? They're not seaweed. Seaweed. They obviously don't run salt in no, the They just do salted. Yeah. Oh, I'll get those just in case. Hi, how are you? Nice ben, to meet nice you. to meet you, you alright? Hello. Welcome to um, Vietnam and welcome to uh, our factory mill. Thank you. So uh, we are Sun Group and our uh, smart operation in Vietnam. Yeah. The finishing. So it's a quick tour about the production. Okay. Okay. Ben? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Thank okay. you. We're taking a pop cart to uh, yeah. this is too big. Oh, nice. <laughs> This is big then. Yes. This is huge. Oh, I love this. I think we should then. Where's that go? Where's I'm that go? settled here. I feel like I'm on holiday. This is cool. This is massive, isn't it? Come on then. Into the recycling plant we go. And then we need a hat as well. Yep. So this will come from Australia, uh, and this is coming in, ready to be split into a yard. This is how it comes into the factory. So you've got this bitty stuff. Okay. There, it's all these little bits. How do you turn it from those bits into that almost rope like so it, it, Once it's clean there, all the contamination is gone, then it's pulled. This is like a combing, so the comb and twist. So, oh, so that's yeah. what gives it the that's strength. It's it. cool, isn't it? I now understand it. We form it for the short fiber, they take it away, and only remain the long fiber. Yeah. It depends on the young cow. If you have a high young cow, we will pump the, um, the short fiber away. 
So we are going to the um, the knitting process. So yeah. this is the spinning, the operation. Yeah. And then from spinning, and then go to the knitting to Perfect. become a fabric. Perfect. Okay. I miss riding my motorbike. I'm a responsible adult now, parrot. Got a wife and kids. Doesn't feel like I would ever say that. Well, it, sound, it sounds weird. Even wife and kids. Uh, you always think that'd be someone else, don't you? Yeah. But it's like you'd never think it'd be you, and then all of a sudden it is. You blink and you're 30, going through a midlife crisis, wearing a white, white cap. I love seeing this though, I love seeing how things are made. Like, it's one of my favourite things. I love it. See, I like seeing engines made, I like seeing cars made, motorcycles, oh, aeroplane parts, jet. I'd love to see a jet engine get made. If I could see anything, a jet engine. Because I know loosely how they work, but I'd love to see one get made. What's that? This is um, like, um, Podesta. Oh, okay, so that's a cotton poly? Yeah. And elastane? Yes. Yeah. Don't you think that's mental? All of this, just to get to a roll of fabric. But again, it's just crazy to think that everything that we've just seen, all the different steps that we've just been through, and that gets you to a roll of, uh, a roll of fabric, which you can then obviously go and use into your product. So the process that happens almost before the process is just, yeah, hugely complex. If you want to have a longer hair, then we will change the brush. So basically you can't feel this, but this is very, very, I guess it's a lot softer than the material that we've seen up there. And what they're saying is the way that they do that, that brushed feel is quite literally, the roll of fabric comes in here and it actually gets brushed so that some of the fibers then stick up that gives it that softness and that feel. So again, I just want to say, I'd, obviously I've worked in apparel now for 10 years. I've never seen it done in this granular detail. So it's really amazing to see this. So this is the digital printing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for digital printing, you can print whatever. You okay. take a picture and then we can print on it. You can see the before printing, that is a great fabric. Oh wow. It's cool, isn't it? So it's similar to screen printing, you've essentially got these exposed. So this area is where the ink will pass through. It then prints and then it then obviously the material moves through the oven, which we've just seen up there, cures it, and then you've got your roll of fabric which you can then use. I feel a lot more knowledgeable. <laughs> Oh, you've patented this? Yes, because the process <coughs> yeah. and the manufacturing. And what is it that makes it unique? We need a special yang kong, mm -hmm. special twisting, mm -hmm. and also a special finishing. Single layer, four-way stretch, without coating or lamination. Yeah? Hello, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put a DWR on surface. Yeah. So water repeller, like a lotus. Right now, I'm not happy. Yeah. But dancing. So Become a dancing yeah. happy fish. The fabric breathes. Yeah. Breathe the So heat can transfer out. But yeah. not in. But it's and then you see the water not penetrate. Yeah. This is what we call water resistant by conduction. Yeah. Yeah. So fish very happy dancing because have air. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's not it's not die. Yeah. Still alive. We have air. Yeah. And the thing is, you see the surface and the backing. You touch the back side, still dry inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. still in the cool, isn't it? Water resistant by contraction and super highly breathable. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can give you this table kiss, no problem, no problem. Yeah. 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 Walk around the office doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you change your feature to shark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to our third and final destination. Hello, everyone. <laughs> well, we're going to our next factory, which is similar to the first factory that we went to, where it will be all about finishing garments, which I'm really looking forward to. So it's been about an hour and a half drive from the mill where we just were. So we're going to land, we're going to do a tour first, and then we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about some products that we could be building in the future. Tonight we're considering testing a McDonald's, a Vietnamese McDonald's, just to make sure it's all above board. Um, what else? That's it really, isn't it? I've had about 17 Diet Cokes, surviving on caffeine. Oh, I had a yeah, Ferrero Rocher's as well, and I had some M&M's. This is why I don't eat sugar, because when I do, I go in. I go in. And then you crash. And then I crash, yeah. Right, well, this is the printing area. This is like 
some very intense screen printing. Oh, so this is just the patch? Yes, yeah, so yeah. just only the patch. The patch. Computerized. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. I think I've still got some more. Excited? Very excited. Lots, lots to do. Lots to do, but some some amazing stuff. And then now what we need to do is we need to move into the next round of sampling and then the guys hopefully are going to come to the UK with that and then we'll be able to work on the next samples in the UK. But the other thing we need to do is get some of the Gymshark guys out here to Vietnam to work on some samples as well because there's a few more ideas that we've got. But yeah, successful day. We're now going to take a quick group photo and then we're going to jump in the minibus and head back to Hanoi. So about an hour and a half away. Very, very successful day. This, yeah. We've got a hell of a lot well, We've got a load of work that we want to do now. But it's exciting. We're moving in the right direction. And we're going to come out of this with some brilliant products. <laughs> I'm very, very tired. Well, very yeah. tired. We're along there. Now we go back to the hotel. We eat our tea. And tomorrow we fly oh, to we Bangladesh. Five, seven, six. Yeah. I'm going to ask this for you, and I won't say to anybody. <laughs> what is? <laughs> yeah, and also uh, some POs I need you to sign off. Um, some messages I need you to go back on. Yeah. Tired. No, I feel great. Yes, I'm extremely tired. <laughs> Sorry, we slowed you down. Oh, thank you. What's that? <laughs> Sorry, no. I've actually put it in show fair mode. <laughs> <laughs> she was <laughs> I didn't know what it was. It's a windscreen. <laughs> look, look, look. I've got a little legging coming out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Too. Because what it is. <laughs> yeah, a little stay there. Yeah, oh, someone's lying down. I'm getting comfortable. <laughs> but Jesus, what are you doing that for? You got a taste of your own medicine. Well, no, you're still miles away from me. You can lie down as much as you want. Just arrived at the airport in Hanoi, absolutely knackered. This is probably the most tired I've been in years, if not ever. We are now going to Bangladesh. So you are going to film? I will do, I will do. Uh, hello, we are in <laughs> Vietnam, we are living, we had a fantastic trip. I love it. <laughs> Go on, we've we? gone back in time. We have now landed into Singapore. We've got a three hour layover. So we're going to go and find the lounge and get comfortable and then we fly from Singapore to Dhaka. It's about 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon, we take up at 8. Uh, 5 and we take up at 8 and we land in Dhaka at about midnight local time I think. Busy day, late night and then it'll be an early morning. We're in Singapore airport, we're walking to the gate and we are flying to Dhaka tonight. Just chilled in Singapore airport with a three hour layover. Had a Burger King, not the healthiest meal in the world, but you know, yeah, now we're doing Singapore to Dhaka. No. In about a four hour flight, something like that. There aren't things we're going to miss it, but judging by the amount of people that have sat in their seats at the gate, I don't think we are going to miss it. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Right, here we go, Dhaka. Doesn't leave till half eight. Oh, last call, last call, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. Morning. Well, this is our first and only day in Bangladesh. Uh, we've woken up, we've had breakfast, we're now meeting in the lobby and we're going to jump in the cars. And we're not actually going to a factory yet, we're going to a local school. So, um, a school that Aziz and the guys at JM, which is the factory that we work with, basically help support. So, we're going to go and check in there first. So, Laurent had asked that everyone needs to go in the same car. Yeah. So, we were able to find a car, but it won't fit the school road. So we'll split up when we go to the school now, and yeah. once we get out of the school, we'll all get into one car. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> all set? Perfect. Yep. All right. Oh, wow, well, look. Look how battered this bus is. These buses are indestructible because they don't care if they get hit or not. So yeah, they so they just off. crack on. So is he? So what do you do? Do you contribute? You contribute to this school from your profits, yes, basically. 
We constructed the school, the land is ours, uh, we pay for everything in that school basically. Yeah. It's four children who have um, autistic, but are on the spectrum, they have yeah. learning disabilities of any sort of prohibition. How old are they? What age? Uh, the, age the age range is huge. It starts from five all the way up to 16 or 17 they go up to. It's very difficult to find somewhere for these kids to go, so that's why we opened this school. And uh, a lot of kids have really benefited from it. We see the journey of some kids when they join the school and after they've been there for a year or two, mm. the amount of development that they have. Yeah, that's good. Previously they couldn't feed themselves or something, now they're completely independent, at least the basic life skills. People like Zach said to me, it'll be super, super busy, but it is, so, I think chaotic is probably the best word. It's literally just so much going on, isn't there? There's so much to take in, whether it's people walking in the road or on these bikes or in these little mini taxis or sweeping the streets. There's just so much going on. So here we are, we just arrived at the school and we're going to go for a quick wander around. Where do we go? Are we going in? Yes. Hello, how are you? You're Oh wow, this is great. They're all putting their hands together and this is saying a prayer for a good day to start. This is what we usually do every day at the start. Ah. So we're here. We're assembly. Now circle time, then motor skill. Yeah. Then tipping, cognitive skill, play skill, ideal skill. What's ideal? Uh, ideal uh, activity of daily living skill. Okay. This is the identity skills. So what do you use with yeah. your... Oh, okay. So you might do a letter. Yes. Yeah. Uh, can uh, black Wow. And this is the birthdays for the month? Uh, and also uh, develop their fine motor skill. Yeah. Creeping skill, yeah. academic education and language. Yeah. These areas are education and language. Let the kids you want. So do you have to do more teacher training because you're working with yeah, autistic yeah. children? Yeah. So you have to keep on top of that. So there are eight activities of daily living, the productivity, the laser. Yeah. Then we assess first, the find out our problem, then we treat here. The, here is, it is the treatment process. Yeah. Then uh, we uh, use some tools for them. Uh, like here is our ball pool. Uh, uh, Child who has some sensory problem and this classic. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi. Lovely to meet you. I'm Takia. What's your name? I'm Takia. Takia. Lovely to meet you. Yes, I have learned from my class teacher how to study, how to uh, learn relaxedly, how to do work relaxedly. Yeah. How to Chill, relax, take it as it comes. Yeah, and have fun. She's really relaxed. Bye. Bye. Have a lovely day. Good to meet you. Okay. She's lovely, she is. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. Like the amount of work that they do for the kids here is outstanding. Genuinely outstanding. Yeah, come on in, come on in. Come on. Come on. I think it's really nice to be able to see. I guess how our partners are really giving back to the local community and that's something that is seriously important to us. And yeah, again, it's just nice to be able to give back to the local community and really be able to come and see that in person. We bought this property, we built these buildings, it's custom built for the school. Yeah. And uh, the same architect who built our factories designed this as well. Okay. And even to the point where the architect said, I won't take any fees for this because it's for the disabled. Oh, so uh, we even did front pro bono, which was really big of him. It changes your perspective a little bit as oh, well. Yeah. 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 These kids, yeah. they usually, if you put them in a normal school, they're the ones who are picked on and yeah. teased, then they're out of place, then they drop out. So Whereas here they can flourish. So this is definitely something that I've never seen before and you don't usually get to see, but it is amazing to be able to see. Is that bamboo? That's bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Look how long it is. They're taking it for probably an event happening somewhere, so they'll use this for scaffolding. Okay. Now we've got about an hour and a half drive to the factory. So we're going north now. We're going further north. Yeah. For one week, you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. There we go. Ready? Hello, Hello. Welcome. Ben. Very nice to meet you. How are you? Thanks Very for having us. You thank good? You. Thank you for coming. Looking yes. forward to today. Where are we going this way? Yep. And there it says, Welcome, Jim Shark. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I love that. Oh, well, now this is proper. This is, isn't it? Oh my God. This is product. This we will save for later on in the day. Okay. I don't want to spoil I'm the excited surprises. for this though. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this bit. So the holes are much stronger. Yeah. And there's no 
uh, extra yarn that stays on a regular uh, top 2v machine you have a little bit of yarn that folds over and only when you pull it it comes apart yeah but here you have break. clean holes all together oh, okay. and they don't break yeah. and that's specific to the this type of machine the tr, yeah, TR. So this is what you do, you'll have this and you'll check against like products from there and make sure we're all good. So here we are at the moment, so we're in the colour room. So you'll have seen these probably in previous videos because we have these at HQ and what we use these for is to check against the approved colour that we've agreed against the batch sort of product. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to be signing off a colour for an up and coming product that hasn't quite launched yet. So this will then act as the product that they're che uh, checking the main production against in the future. So that is now signed off and that will now act as the master of which all batch production is tested against. So you have a tube, yeah. you want a design, we'll print it for you right there. This is like a DTG onto it's, seamless. Exactly, it's DTG onto seamless. So this is where the dyeing and finishing of the fabric happens. Yeah. How long for a cycle? Oh, about uh, seven hours on okay. batch. Yeah. Seven to eight hours depending on color. After it's gone from the final check area, then it goes to the poly and stitch. It's your print. Maybe trims here yeah. and there. Okay, this is good. So should we, what should we do? Should we pull out the bits that are interesting. And we need like a, yeah. We did do years ago a, a screen print with an embroidery on top, which was really cool. That's the seamless, the rolling one. That's rapid fire, isn't it? <laughs> That's really quick. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that was a women's product. I thought it was a men's product. Yeah, we're definitely going to run. We should definitely run these. I mean, that's a bit shiny, the fleece, but a quarter zip fleece is really cool, isn't it? That's it. We just run a really simple fleece. We'll go and call it degree, grade, whatever it is. And we do the hoodie with the, the cross here. We'll do a fleece and a jogger. So yeah, we'll definitely run that. Yeah. But we'll have to run it with a less, because it just, sorry, it looks really shiny. It needs to be more matte, the actual fleece material. Yeah, oh, I love the color. Do you like it? I love it. I also wear a lot of Gymshark, I just want to say. Oh, you do? I'm oh, amazing. Fan, so. Thank you. I was, even when I was trying on your outfits, I was like, okay, it feels Gymshark. So oh, that's good. <laughs> no, it looks great. It looks really good. I, I would run that, like, tomorrow, once we've tidied up the design slightly. What do you think so far, by the way? Oh, it's amazing. We've had, like, there must be hundreds, if not close, like, literally hundreds and hundreds of just ideas that the guys have pulled out. And rather than looking at ideas yeah. through a CAD, uh, on a computer screen, which you've seen them in real life, which is so much better and so much quicker. That one on the right looked really good. I, think. I actually really like it. The one on the right looks really cool. I didn't even see any of this. That's really nice. I think you chose this one. Are they, are they the ones with the pocket? Oh, they've got the pocket on. Yeah, that was it. They've got the, the pocket on. I like the top as well. Yeah, that looks really nice. The top, that, that top was nice. And then I like that top, but I think Lois would have to get and play with it a bit, but I think the, the yeah. shape. So what we need to do is go through each one of these and just put three bullet points of what essentially is cool, what isn't. Yeah, it's sat better even when it's open. Yeah, this is definitely better. Yeah, that's the, such a nice material. That's like the rest day on steroids. That's the I'm watching Netflix all day top. And I might pop to the co-op for a prawn mayo sandwich. Yeah, my legs are, they'd stood up a lot. I might just like shuffle around on this. So we're going through now each of the samples that we have essentially pulled out of the sample room that we like and we're just writing down what we like about the product because in some things it could be literally as simple as this is quite a cool material or we like the way it feels or we like this one logo or this one stitch line or it might not be that we like the entire product but by piecing all that together hopefully we can find some cool new design, innovation and, and newness. Yeah, I mean, I've got a few things that I just wanted to run through before we go, if that's all right. Um, and then it's easy to think me and you are going to grab some time as well at the end of the day. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to both of you for hosting us. And thank you as well. The amount of work that you've done ahead of today on all the sampling um, has been absolutely amazing. And I think we've taken about half of them. You're going to have a massive, uh, there's going to be a massive bill in getting all that back to the UK. But it'll be good, I promise. And I think some of the products are amazing. It certainly made me realise 
the opportunity that we have as a brand, going back to the word you used earlier, partnership. Some of the designs that have come through I think are brilliant as well. So again, thank you for taking the time on that. That's been absolutely brilliant. It's been our pleasure to host you and you know, we've been waiting for this visit for a long time. Yeah. So it's, it's really wonderful that you could make the time of your busy schedule. You have a lot going on, especially with new to children, you know, it's a lot to handle. Yes. But we really appreciate you taking the time off your schedule and coming to visit us. And next time we want you for a longer period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, next time, I believe you me, I'd rather be here for more than 24 hours. <laughs> 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 Come on, this way, but yeah. Oh, well, they were going to. Yeah. Like, that was an amazing day. It was a huge trip. We achieved so much. I'm absolutely knackered. And now we are going to head back to the hotel, have some food, get ourselves ready, and go to the airport. Because tonight we are flying to Dubai and then home. Really, really happy. But very tired. Yeah. So here we are, back in the UK, on the way home in the cab, and we're absolutely knackered, as you can probably tell by the bags under my eyes. It was such an amazing week, it was non-stop, it was carnage, but it was so, it was just a brilliant week, and I just literally just chatting to someone on the phone there, um, and I was saying, I think the last two or three nights I've had averaged, it can't be much more than three hours sleep. And but I think just the adrenaline, adrenaline, and the excitement of being in the factories, being with the uh, suppliers, being you know having products in hand, all of these things really make a big difference. But yeah, it's been an amazing week. Hopefully, it was insightful for you guys watching as well. Uh, comment down below and let me know if there's anything else that you want to see. But overall, really happy, really tired. Now I'm going to get some rest this weekend. See Robin and the boys, uh, and look.